decade ago, I began studying the healthiest, longest living cultures on our planet today. Right under our noses, there's eight or nine very well researched cultures that live to 80, 90, and 100 plus years of age with almost no incidents, heart disease, cancer, type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis. And do you know how much they know about good fats, bad fats, low carb diets, glycemic index? You get to work with energy, good vitality, you're so fired up, you fly through the day. The only hiccup in your entire day is about four o'clock in the afternoon where you lose all conscious control over your right arm and completely against your wishes, it reaches down to the bottom drawer of your desk and starts force feeding you chocolate. The bad news is that 80% of what we get told today by modern Western health science is either completely wrong or it's so complicated, confusing and contradictory it will prevent us from having this state of functioning. Just in case in 50 years time you do feel like that, you actually know when you're getting old. You know when you're getting old when your partner says, darling, come upstairs and make love. And you say, pick one, I can't do both. <laughs> Turn to the person next to you and say, you are so good looking. Go! <laughs> what it produces in the brain is predominant alpha brain waves. These are what we associate with zone states and flow states. Peak performance states, but with an inner state of rest and calm. Restful alertness. That being healthy primarily is not about whether you drink or smoke or do a lot of exercise or get enough sleep. It's about the number of social connections you have, the quality of your relationships and your inner levels of happiness and contentment. <laughs>